All right, excellent. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? So far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. Well, that's better than bad. All right. So good, good, good. So thank you very much for being here for our last class, everybody. Right. So and I do apologize if I enter just a couple of seconds late. All right. So but I was saying also goodbye to the previous group. Right. So well, now let's see. We are going to start to practice as every single night with our favorite activity, right? Of course. And everybody's going to be like participating tonight, all right? So, but give me just one second because my second device, it's still loading, all right? So one quick second here. Let's see, let's see. One second, please. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. What happens now? There you go. Excellent. Okay, so give me one quick second. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. My bad, people. I'm so sorry about this. It's just my second device being my second device, right? So it's going to be loading in a quick moment. All right, all right, all right. There you go, there you go. One second here. Now it's not helping me this one. Okay, um, let me see if I can actually try to do something here quickly. One second. All right, I will send something to the WhatsApp group right now. Can someone please give me a hand and share the screen meanwhile I just fixed this? Who can help me with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Miss teacher. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Let's see. Oh, finally, here you are. There you go. I do apologize for this. Okay, I guess it's working now. Let me see. Let me know if you can see the screen. It says loading, but it's supposed to be there now. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Very good. Excellent. So my bad. This one, I apologize for my second device. So now let's just continue here with this one. This is the tongue twister I was talking about. So we're the one we're going to be practicing tonight. All right. So take a look. And it says right here, hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do with South Beach. Go to watch the women when you see their body spinning. With the face, push the waist like like a patty in the streets. All right. Easy. I'm going to repeat it again, you know, in a slow motion. So, hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do at South Beach. Go to watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face, push the waist like a patty in the streets. All right. Very good. So it goes like this one now. How are you supposed to practice this? It will be, hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do at South Beach. Go to watch a woman when you see the body spinning with the face, with the waist, like running on the streets. Like that. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. You can do it. 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 All right. All right. All right. Practice. You have two minutes, remember, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, so you can actually practice this one, right? 
Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do at South Beach. Go to watch the women when you see the body spinning with the face, with the waist, like a party in the streets. I can see some volunteers laughing because they are going to be like, you know, so happy about it. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. 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 Okay. Understand, Roberto. Thank you for letting me know. Be safe, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Remember, practice. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do at South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with their face, pussy your waist like merengue on the streets. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, a lot of uh, um, listeners tonight for the last class. What a surprise. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. One more minute, one more minute, practice. Like, right. hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do it South Beach. Go to watch you win more. You see the body spinning with the face, with the waist, like Marine on the streets. Like a party on the streets, like a party in the streets. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Very good. Mm hmm. There you go, there you go. Okay, awesome. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, my friends. And then I will start checking who are my volunteers tonight. I have a lot of people, right? So let me see. Okay, so I have Millie, George, uh, Sandra, Norma. Norma, volunteer for sure, number one. All right, so Rene. <laughs> Patty, Patty, who turned off the camera, but I saw her earlier, so she might be around. Uh huh. There you go. I'm I'm here, teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. It's, it's Renee, just I, I, I have stomach ache. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, summer break. So let's see, let's see. Excellent. So time's up, time's up, time's up. All right. So now we are going to start with Rene. All right, because he's the first volunteer, and then we will see who's going to be the next one. So, Rene, please go ahead. Okay, I tried. Uh, okay. Hey, everybody, everybody got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in Sona Beach. Got to watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face pushed the waist like a party in the street. There you go. Great, 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 great. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right? Two words we need to practice there. Written, which is this word right here, right? So let's see here. Rhythm. Written, all right? Written in this one for Rhythm. you. South Beach, South Beach. Repeat it. South Beach. There you go. Exactly. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, let's see. Next volunteer, next volunteer. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, George. Please, all yours. Okay. Hey, everybody, everybody got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. Go to watch the woman when you see their body spinning with the face pushed away like a party in the streets. Thank you. That was actually super nice as well from you, right? So super, super good. Now, just one thing right here. Remember, this one, it's the plural. Woman, it's only one. The plural, it's women. Women. We women. 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 All right. Yeah, Very that's good. Right. Excellent. Women. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Good job on that one. Thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Volunteer, 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 volunteer. Volunteer or victim? Hmm, you decided. Patty. Thank you, Patty. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. 
gonna watch the woman when you see their body spinning with the face push away like the body in the street there you go oh my god that was super super nice all right so congratulations thank you thank you all right next one next one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes 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 okay. next 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 come on everybody don't be shy right what about, well, let me see. Who actually said that they will not be able to participate? David, because he's working. Carolina. Oh, Carolina is there. Thank you, Carolina. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Hey, everybody. Everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face push the waist like a party in the streets. Hey, great job. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for being the volunteer <laughs> also, Carolina. Good job, right? So let's see. Who's next? Next, 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 next. Mm -hmm. Baby. Who? Neely. No. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I Thank <didn't>. you, buddy. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Go ahead, Neely. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in some beach. Go to watch the women when you see the body spinning with the face, with the weight, like a body in the street. Like a body in the street. It's excellent. Very good. Good, 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 good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Who's going to be the next one? Let's see. Uh, I don't know if Senia is available. Stephanie, Ronald, Rim. Let's see here, Nelson, Monica. Anybody else who's available? Oh my goodness, people. Oh, Ingrid, I remember I said Ingrid before. Uh-huh, oh no, Norma, it was Norma, I'm sorry, Norma. But also Patricia Garcia is there, I saw her, I saw her, so volunteer. Well, first Norma and then Patricia. Okay, continue. Uh-huh. Norma, Norma. Norma. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody, everybody go to read it. The women, the woman, movie life, they did so bitch. Go to white the women when you see their body spinning with the face by the white, like a party in the street. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trying. All right. So now it's a uh, Patricia Garcia's turn. Go ahead. In the sound, what happens with the microphone? Again? Huh? Hey, everybody, uh, everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move like the, they do so bitch. Gotta watch the women, women when you see their body spinning with the face push the waist like a party in the streets like a party in the streets all right very good excellent thank you thank you very much for this one right so that was an easy tongue twister it is actually a song right so um and that song is actually nice as well easy to memorize and to repeat all right so very very good excellent good job so let's just continue with the next activity for tonight which is this one right here Okay, so our first activity for tonight is going to be a grammar focus, right? Which is when we're talking about expectations, right? When we're talking about expectations, we can use some expressions here. Um, like, for example, imagine we have some scenarios. Like the first one is here, when you visit someone, right? So what are the expectations when you visit someone? You, you can use expressions like, it's the custom... And then you continue with that one. It's the custom to bring a small gift. It's the custom to call before you are arriving. All right. Or it's the custom to take um, a pastry with you. All right. So, or it's a custom to um, to clean the dishes or to do the dishes after you finish eating, for example. Right. Like that. So things that people expect you to do during the visit. All right. So or things that you're not supposed to do. Right. So you aren't supposed to arrive early or you aren't supposed to arrive really late or you aren't supposed to bring other people if they don't uh, if they didn't invite them, of course. Right. So and then 
we go for this one. Uh, we have another scenario. So if you want to bring someone, they said, you are expected to call first and ask. You are supposed to check with the host. All right. Or it's not accepted. I'm sorry. It's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. You know, basically, this is uh, right here. It's just giving the scenario, right? So, but the expressions we are going to use are those expressions here, right? Those are the expressions that you are going to be using here. So let's see here. Now, if you want to give a different scenarios, all right? So imagine that we give this scenario here. Take a look. Eating pupusas, when eating pupusas in El Salvador. There you go. So we go on this one right here. When eating pupusas in El Salvador, what are the things that people expect you to do when you eat pupusas here in El Salvador, my friends? Mm -hmm. What are the things that people expect? What are the expectations of people when you eat pupusas in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? Yes, Cesar? Uh, when you eat pupusas in El Salvador, you are supposed to use your hand to use your hands to eat. Uh -huh, very good. So it says here that you are supposed to very good. You are supposed to use your hands. Okay, very good. What else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Yes, it says here you are supposed to use. Your hands, very good. What's next? Uh -huh. Thank you, Cesar. Uh huh. What else? Uh huh, my friends. What are the things that you are supposed to uh, to do, or oh, or you're not supposed to do, for example? Uh -huh. Things that people expect you to do, or things that people expect you not to do. Uh huh. When eating, when eating pupusas in El Salvador, you are supposed to to eat with cabbage. Ah, uh -huh, right. You are supposed to eat to eat it with cabbage. With cabbage to eat them with cabbage. All right, excellent. Oops, my goodness, this computer and sauce. Out. In oh, tomatoes, and sauce, so all right. And sometimes <laughs> people don't eat cabbage, even though you are here from El Salvador, right? So, yes. but let's see. Uh -huh. What else? Hmm? Mayonnaise cabbage. <gasps> no, Jesus of the garden, all yeah. right? Here is I really cabbage. love vinegar. <laughs> sauce. No, ah, you're no, not no, supposed no. to, to use that. Miguel. So you're not supposed to. To use uh -huh, cabbage example, with. you're not supposed to. Oh, you know what? We can change that one and we can say this one. It's not acceptable. Acceptable. To, to eat to them eat. with mayonnaise or major, Mayo right? So mayonnaise. like that one. Which is, which is not acceptable for me is to use garlic. Garlic as ingredients. Yeah. yeah. That garlic is and cheese. Belly issues. Yes, there is. Yes, yes, yes. There, there are pupusas with uh, cheese and garlic. Cheese and garlic, yes. And many ingredients, many more ingredients. Yes. All right. Yes. So, yes, Carolina, tell me. When eating pupusas in El Salvador, mm -hmm. you aren't supposed to use a fork. Ah, very knife. good. That's a good one. All right. So you aren't supposed to use, to use forks. forks. All right. Very good. Excellent. Uh huh. What else? Ah, uh, Rene, tell me. Uh, when eating pupusas in El Salvador. Is supposed to take uh, your guest to the best pupuseria. Is 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 supposed you take them to the best pupuseria? Yes, to take uh, your guest, your inviting people uh, to oh. the best pupuseria. 
All right. It's suppose you take them, take them to the best. Pupuseria. Now I have a question for you. What's the best pupuseria in, in El Salvador? It depends. <laughs> there are a lot of best pupuserias. I love. All right. Like, you know, there are some pupuserias that are very popular and have branches that are normally in molds, right? So which one for you is going to be one of those? Molds. In molds, normally we have pupuserias that they also sell typical food. Yeah. Um, Margot. I, I, I Margot. Like okay. Have you tried Katis before? Ah, uh, no. No, I haven't. La, la pupusería suiza. Yes. Ah, okay. So yes, you see, uh, that's what I'm talking very about. Very famous too. No, no more publicity please, because we're going to YouTube now. All right. So let's see. Uh, but you said Margot. Typical Margot. <laughs> I just repeat it. I just repeat it. All right. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So we're Salvadorian. So yeah, I know, we know, I know. We, only Salvadorian people know about those pupuserías. Nobody else. All right. So let's see. Thank you. Questions? No um, questions? No, no. You're sure you don't have questions yeah. because you know what happens every time that you don't have questions, right? Let's not tweet more than three. Let's <laughs> see. Miri says you are supposed to not to eat more than three if you are invited. Ah, well, oh, it depends. Ah, okay. Depends. <laughs> it depends because if your grandmother invited you, you can eat as yeah. many as you want. Yes. There you go. Excellent. So thank you. And thank you for all those examples right here. All right. Uh, before we were giving our own examples, right? Uh, specifically talking about pupusas, of course, right? But now we have some specific things and we need to match them. All right. So let's see right here. It says, um, let's see. I need a volunteer who can give me a hand reading the instruction, please. The instruction, the instruction. Who's my volunteer? Mm-hmm. Just match. Uh -huh, go ahead. Match information in columns A and B to make sentences about customs in the United States and Canada. Then compare with a pack. Thank you so much. That was actually super nice. All right. So then number one from letter A, it says, if you plan to visit someone at home, what's going to be support. here? What people expect you to do from A to F? You're supposed to call first. You're supposed to call first. Would you agree with that one, people? Yes. yes. Like this one? Well, one second. All I right, agree. this one. Yes? Yes, I agree. Very good. All right, so what about number two? Who can help me to read number two? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, I'll be if, reading. If you've been invited to a friend's home for dinner, mm -hmm. letter uh, e. 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 Mm -hmm. Letter e. e. It's the e. custom to call and thank him or her. All right, excellent. So, yes. Are you sure? To a mm -hmm. friend's house? Uh, yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes, of course, that one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Excellent. So what about number three? When you have been invited to a wedding? D. Later? D. D as in David? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to reply in writing. Do we do that mm -hmm. here in El Salvador, people? Do we say like, yes, we confirm we're gonna go? Yes, most of the times. Yes. Most of the times. Most of the time, yes. right? Exactly. Yes. Uh, number four, all right, when you go out on a date. Hmm? Letter F. Letter F, oh my goodness. Uh-huh, girls, what do you think? It's okay or it's yeah, the end it's a one that's the cover? Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what was it? What was it? It's much better if oh. it's somebody <laughs> pay the bill, but all right, excellent. So 
uh, I was just like trying to to see what what, what your answer was, all right? When so, you are on, on a date, it's not that the cost. When it's your boyfriend, it's okay. Uh -huh. But when it's the first date, the, it's I think it's not sure. necessary. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it much better the letter C. You, the letter C? For, to, for the topic. The letter C. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you meet someone for the first time, yes, yes. Could be letter C, you are supposed to letter, kiss. Letter C, you are uh, supposed to kiss. All right. Yeah, but, but um, yeah, that, that can also apply, let's say here, right? So, yeah, but this yeah. one right here, all right? So, yeah, but like, let's say, for example, you were saying things like it is no like, um, not acceptable. Uh, to share expenses, right? So, well, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. All right. So, if the service is in a restaurant, is good. Uh, you're expected to, to leave a tip. All right. Yeah, but in our country, they don't ask you if you want to leave a tip. They it is included on the bill, right? Yes. Normally, there you go. Yeah. And then the number six, when you meet someone for the first time, yeah, that we apply. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. All right, excellent. So, yeah, maybe not like in the romantic way. Maybe it's just about yeah. like kissing chicks, right, perhaps. Uh, but that depends on cultures, of course, right? So, yeah, yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. You did good with this one. All right. Questions, vocabulary, any other idea, any other um, um suggestion that you can do here about expectations? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Uh, if you plan to visit someone at home, uh, it would be a good idea to to bring a bottle of wine. Uh, interesting. But what if the other person doesn't like wine? Uh -huh. I don't know, maybe a Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's a good one. Thank you. All right. So that makes us now come here to the next activity, which is going to be the activity number three. All right. Okay. I need another volunteer here. Please help me to read this instruction, my friends. Go ahead. Uh -huh. What is it? All right, come on, just one person for reading. Okay, thank you, Carolina. Go ahead. Okay. Complete these sentences with information about your country or a country you know well. Then compare with a partner. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Now let's talk about our country. All right. So let's just mention those things right here. All right. So how are you going to do it? You know, very simple, right? So we just go there to those, uh, we're going to go to the breakout rooms to discuss it, right? And we can say like, for example, you know, in El Salvador, if people invite you to their home, so you express the expectations, of course, right? Or when you go out with friends for dinner, what happens here in El Salvador? Do we share the expenses? Do we invite our friends? Or like, for example, once I'm going to pay in the second time or the next time my friend is going to pay for the expenses, you know, it could be whatever idea you have. For number three, if a friend gets engaged to be married, right? So what do we do? Um, Do we become part of like the friend's celebration? Are we able to uh, prepare the celebration, right? Or what do we do there, right? When a relative has a birthday, so what do we do? Do we call him? Do we or call her? Do we go to his or her house? Do we buy a cake for him or her? Uh, or do we prepare a carne asada, which is actually very common here in El Salvador? All right. And number five, if a friend is in the hospital, do we visit them? It depends, yeah. right? So if it is in a private hospital, it might be possible. If it is in a public hospital, it depends on the, um, the hospital rules, of course. And the last one, when someone is going to have a baby, we prepare baby showers, we prepare patties, we prepare a lot of activities. Yes, Carolina, tell me. Mm -hmm. Carolina. No questions, Carolina? Was a mistake? No, no, was a mistake. 
Sorry. Okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. All right, excellent. So, did you understand the activity, my friends? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. All right, no problem. So, let me open right now the breakout rooms, my friends, so you can go this one. Oh, did you take a screenshot for this one, or you want me to send it to the group? I can send it right now, no problem. Please, please, teacher. Sure. Just give me one second here, because my device wants to go on vacations. Mm. All right, so let's see. We are 27 today, teacher. Yes, it seems to be like everybody came for the last class, but not everybody's participating. No. So let's see. One quick second. Okay, I'm going to prepare the breakout rooms, being what I sent the... There you go. It, remember, guys, if someone is just like with somebody who is just listening or doesn't actually find anyone to uh, practice with, let me know so I can actually switch you, right? So there you go. Excellent. Please go ahead and uh, participate there. The screenshot has been sent to the WhatsApp group, my friends. Okay, again. Oh, George is around there. Very good. Let's see what they are doing. So if you want, I can start with the first one. That says, um, let's say, In El Salvador, if people invite you to their home, usually you have to tell them before you arrive. When somebody invite me um, to her or his home, I'm not supposed to clean the dishes, but I like to do it. wash dishes and I like to uh, bring my friends something like a cake or something to drink okay um, the third one says if a friend gets engaged to be married uh, you have or 
to usually have to tell them congrats. Also, it could be help them to organize their wedding if they ask you or give a gift to both uh, to the couple. Microphone, Millie. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I, I just say congrats because I'm not good organiza in organization parties or weddings or social events. What do you do, Rachel? Not too much, honestly. <laughs> Okay. And what do you do? What you are supposed to do when you go out with a a, a friend for dinner? Um, if it, if it is a friend, like going out with them and pay my own my own order. What about you? Yeah, I, I, I almost always have bad luck because when I go out with my friends, I used to pay the bills mm -hmm, because I, I don't know why, but my friends used to think that I have money, and they say, "Okay, you have to pay," you know. <laughs> Why would they say that? I don't know, sir, but uh, I would like <laughs> some of my friends one day tell me, okay, today I, I going to pay. But never happens. Those are not friends, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're right. You're doing a good job, ladies. I'm going to go to a different breakout room to see how other people are doing. Okay, good job. Okay. Hey, Rachel, um, what do you do when you go a baby shower? Um, I have not gone. Oh. My friend is engaged. <laughs> we never cross to our minds to say, okay, let's do a party or something like that. It's more like, congratulations. And uh, let me yeah. help with things that I can help you to do. Uh, to plan the wedding, but uh -huh. it never comes to mama to or either in the other friends to celebrate, go to celebrate and things like that. Yeah, okay. So it's just my device or I'm not able to listen to anybody here. What's up? I, I, uh, I don't know, teacher. I, I can hear you. I'm listening I can to hear you. you yeah. But he can hear us. Uh, I think it's the teacher. Maybe. Yeah. I, I can hear you, teacher. Quick. Oops. Okay. Mm. May we continue? Uh, I can listen to you now. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. When a relative has a birthday, well, it's supposed to to bring a, a present, right? Yeah, or going to uh, for lunch. Uh, or yeah, yes, go out for for lunch and dinner. And prepare, yeah. buy a cake, yeah. or or um, ask for a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, also too. Mm -hmm. Okay, if a friend. Is in the hospital. Maybe mm -hmm. you can visit him or bring them flowers. Bring yeah. bring him or her flowers. I don't know how it's like here in the country here in Salvador because 
so many mm -hmm. people here are very afraid to get into a hospital because uh -huh. anything you can uh be cont be con contagious 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 yeah um it depends of the disease right yeah but it's like not just for the person that you're going to visit it's for everything that's inside of the hospital uh-huh okay well and when someone is going to have a baby oh um uh, you prepare probably a baby shower yes and bring presents for the baby yeah uh i think um last time people are uh, may, doing uh parties for i don't know how to say that revelar el, the sex so del bebé the baby's no, gender how, how this did you say teacher? the baby's gender uh in, and re reveal the, ben, the baby's, the baby's gender. gender gender yeah. reveal that reveal reveal is okay yeah yeah okay. Gender reveal, I think okay. It is. okay people make a, a party for reveal the baby's yeah. gender mm -hmm. and and, af and after that uh, another party for baby shower the baby shower Mm. And I remember that last uh, before uh, I don't know a long time ago, baby showers were only for ba for ladies. But now I think uh, it's for ladies and 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 gentlemen too. Yeah, gentlemen, gentlemen too. Mm -hmm. I've seen with these gender reveals like, and um, it can be the in the inside of the cake it has the color of the gender reveal or sometimes um, it's with these these candles that uh, has smoke a uh, or the color oh, of yeah. the of the oh, gender yeah. i don't know i don't know i yeah. i only uh, has gone to one party uh, in this kind of party well and i, I think really this I think it's most in the United States. Here, it's not that common, at least mm -hmm. in Salvador. Well, I've been uh, listening about that mm, much frequently than than before. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. So are you in the United States, Marin? No, I've seen videos of people in the United States. That's uh -huh. what I think. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. all right very good yes. awesome so well we are going to stop right here because we have some other activities to practice with so very good job on this one girls okay thank you teacher thank you oh. yes all right welcome back everybody so now that you have had the opportunity to discuss that with the partner we will have like i would like to have six different volunteers which i hope i can get six volunteers all right so to like tell me all those things right here so for example number one it says in el salvador if people invite you to their home what's the expectation can somebody help me with that one hmm? Uh -huh. What is it? Maybe give them a, a, a little cake for, for the sale after the, the meal. Uh -huh. So to, to give a dessert, uh, a dessert, a pastry, like a cake or anything uh, like that? Yes. All right. Yeah. So very good. Excellent. Thank you. Cesar, uh -huh. go ahead. Uh, that, that's what I was going to say. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Very good, excellent. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's just continue with that one. And um, let's see number two. When you go out with uh, with friends for dinner, what's what people expect? 
Mm -hmm. You are supposed to share the bill. You are supposed to share the bill, share the expenses, of course, right? Because, you know, we um, are supposed to, um, you know, individually pay the things, right? Of course. Carolina, go ahead. Oh, the right. Uh, yeah, it's split the bill. Uh, Sp spill, split, split the bill? Yes, of course, right? Uh, have you ever have you ever heard the expression go Dutch? No. Go Dutch. Do you know? Have you ever heard the expression? No. Go Dutch. No. That go expression Dutch. is what does that mean? It I means think that, that everybody is... pays individually. Go Dutch. Go Dutch. All right. So, like for example, when you go out with um let's say with your girlfriend or boyfriend do you split the bills do you share the expenses or do you go dutch do you go dutch it's like split the bill right mm -hmm. like that one go dutch all right very good uh, renee you want to say something Okay, teacher. No, it's about the the second question. When you go out with friend for dinner, eh, it's important to choose a good restaurant and, <laughs> okay. and, and it is possible to, to pay the bill. Yeah, it's important to choose actually a good restaurant, right? And, and yes, of course, right? So you're not going to go to a place that nobody likes, right? Eh, honest. <laughs> You know, one of your friend <laughs> likes that restaurant and maybe it's his or her birthday, so we have to go there. Oh, no. Right? So, and you can eat pupusa with your friends, too. Of course. You can go to a pupuseria to eat. To, yes. That would be a good idea sometimes, yes. depending on yes. depending on the group of friends you have, of course, right? So, good. Oh, yeah. Number three, if a friend gets engaged to be married, what's your expectation? I don't know. You don't know? You are supposed to make a single party. Uh -huh. Well, actually, you call those bachelor's parties. Uh, how, uh, we were expecting with Carolina how to say that uh, kind of party. What is the name? Bachelor. Bachelor or bachelorette. Or oh, bachelorette. That is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Bachelor party. I'm going to bachelorette. And if the the girl is bachelorette party, correct. Mm -hmm. We can use the same the same uh word for her or or him. No, bachelor. It's for uh for boys for, or... for boys. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm sending right now this one. There you go. It's supposed to be there. All right. Like that one, bachelor and bachelorette. All right, so yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So bachelor, it's for men, and bachelorette, it's for okay. women. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good idea. I I didn't think about that before, but uh, yes, it's a good idea to have a bachelor or bachelorette party. Very good. When a relative has a birthday, what do you expect? What's the expectation? Um, it is supposed to. To give a present. To give a present, of course, right? So what else? Sometimes you can also chip in. You know what is to, to chip to in? To sing happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, yeah, of course. Happy birthday, all right? You know what is chip in? Chip in? No. What is it? Like to cooperate. Like, for example, imagine, let's imagine that uh, you guys are uh, my relatives, right? So it's my birthday. So George is going to bring the sodas. Patty is going to bring lasagna. Uh, uh, me is going to bring okay. beers, etc. Right? So like chipping in. How, how, how did yeah. chip? Can you can you write in the chat that that <laughs> it is there already? <laughs> yes. huh? It is chip in the chat in. already. Chip in is the same mm -hmm. too in, in Spanish. So no. fiesta de traje. No, you know, normally chipping is an expression that is actually like contribute with money, 
All right. So let's say, for example, let's um, let's say that we go to a restaurant and uh, we want to buy a pizza, or let's say we go to a food court in a in a mall, and we want to eat pizza, but I only have two dollars. You have two dollars, and somebody um, has only one dollar. So we just exactly, exactly, exactly. So right? Cheap, cheap is como barato, right? No, no, that cheap is oh. just like the chip, you know, from a cell phone. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Chip right. with, with I, with I, right? Yeah, the, the expression is in the chat, you can see it. Oh, sorry, I didn't get it. All right, exactly. So, mm -hmm. you know, and we can, uh, we can uh, you know, normally this expression, it's um set for um oh, yeah. money, right? Yeah. Help or advice, but we can actually apply it for, for example, when we are trying to collect things yes, for making a party, chipping, right? Remember, it's to contribute. Yeah. All right, to... Okay, very good, excellent. So, uh, let's just go on the next one. If a friend is in the hospital, what it's what we normally do? It's normally to visit uh, him or her and to bring him or her flowers, flowers. or fruit or fruits or uh, fruit juice. <laughs> uh, but but in tetra brick, I don't know how to say that. Like like uh, what? Uh, llevar jugo de fruta, like bring to take, to take natural juices, mm -hmm. nature, but 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 in the in the pack, no, no, no natural from like home, like uh, can, cans, cans, artificial juice, cans of juice could be yeah, cans of juice, uh, yes, all right, cans of juice, all right, very good. And the last one, when someone is going to have a baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. What is what we normally do? It's supposed to organize a baby, baby shower. We are supposed to organize a baby shower. That is actually correct. All right. So very good. Okay, excellent. So now let's review in this couple of minutes here. Thank you guys for sharing all those ideas. That was actually good. Now let's just talk about Teacher. this one. Uh huh. Oh, questions? Teacher. Questions? Uh, yes, I have a question. Tell me. How do you say revelación de sexo? <gasps> because it's the it's a <laughs> custom when you when someone is supposed to have a baby. Uh huh. Your, exactly. Right. So we will say there. that I we will say that one in the. Um, uh, the gender reveal, said yes. Gender reveal. Gender reveal. Gender, gender reveal. Mm -hmm. Gender. Gender. Mm -hmm. Gender is género? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gender reveal. Gender reveal. When, like, there is, like, nowadays it's very common that people usage loss like kind of smoke like pink smoke or light blue smoke oh yes when right. it's, a ba so. it's a boy baby boy mm -hmm. yes if you look for that on google it's going to show you like that one gender reveals like this um okay it's like well not sure if i can share this one right here it's going to be easier if i just show you my phone here um uh, no no working all right so well, let's see. Let's just see this one. Okay, everybody here, it's time for you to practice with a listening. All right, you ready for this? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so we are going to listen to people, right? So describe uh, customs they observe abroad. And then we're going to complete the chart. So what did Alice say? What did John say? And what Susan said? All right, so very good. So I'm just going to stop sharing this screen so I can share the um, audio, right? Very good. So let's see. Uh, I, I just have a question. How were the gender reveals before? Because I don't remember we used, we do, I mean, we did that before. We just have like, it's a boy, it's a girl in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Or did we do something similar before? No, I don't think we we would ever have done something like that before. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. when you go to when the moms go to make the the ultra, 
you know. Uh, yes. that, that is when they give you the gender or the baby, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But right, right, right. I seen that sometimes the moms don't want to know the gender. They want they want that the doctors give you in a in a letter, in a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, maybe to the they, husband. Yeah, but when it when they want to the gender page being, 34, the page, exercise nine, listening. Excuse me. Customs. All right, excuse me. All right, go ahead. When they want to, inside of the case, it's going to be the color of the gender. They go to the bakery and mm -hmm. they bring the the letter to make the cake of the mm -hmm. color of the gender. That sounds like a stressful process to me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you know. All right, so, well, let's see. Oh, well, one second. I think I didn't share the sounds. Okay, now it's supposed to be there. All right, let's see. For exercise nine. Page 34, exercise nine, yeah. listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. One, Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John when I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock, and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. You got it, or you want me to repeat it one more time? One more time. Please. One more time. Okay. Page 34, exercise 9, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. Okay. 2. John When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Excellent. So now let's just go back here to the um, presentation so we can finish with this class here. All right. So let's see. Where did Alice go or travel? To South Korea. South Korea. All right. South Korea. Very good. 
Very good. What was the custom? Um, people used to make noise when they eat soup. We're eating soup, you know. Um, noises when eating soup. When eating soup. Soup. All right. Very good. Excellent. See if I can move it a little bit here. There you go. Noises when eating food. All right. And how did the person react? He didn't like. She didn't like that. At the beginning, she didn't like. She didn't like it. All right. At the beginning, of that. All right. So at the beginning, she didn't like it, and then she said, "Like anyway." All right. So yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What about John? Yeah. Where did John travel? To Spain. Spain. To Spain. Spain. Very good. All right. And what was the custom? Mm. To invite people to dinner. Too late. Uh, right. Nine o'clock and you're yeah, serving dinner, dinner at 10 o'clock. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that one. All right. So let's yes. say that this uh, this time's actually early for them. All right. So yes, yes. In mm -hmm. how did the person react? How did John react? Um he was surprised. Mm -hmm. And he was in shock. <laughs> in shock, surprised. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. Very good. Excellent. So, and what about Susan? Where did Susan go? To South Arabia. Arabia. All right. Arabia? Oh, Saudi. Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Oh, Saudi uh, Arabia. Saudi, Saudi Arabia. 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 All right. Yeah, okay. Very good. Okay. And what was the custom? Uh, to wear a burqa. To wear this. The custom is that women to wear use... or wear? Uh, word is a, a, is wearing a burqa. Wearing. Is it the correct way to to spell that one? Um, no. Well, then we're know. gonna actually put it into quotations. All right, so oh, just quotation. because we don't know. All right, because it's an uh, uh, name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. She and covers did... the the whole body. Yes. And how about the reaction? I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, at the beginning, she, no, 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 no. She, she think it's okay because you don't have to, to take care about your wear, uh, okay. your clothes inside the the burka. So she thought it was okay. What you wearing is it's not important. What you wear inside is not important. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, for this one. So, do you have questions, people? No. No questions. No. no. no I think I don't think so. All right, excellent. So, well, let's. I know it's time, but we're just missing one more activity. Nah, just kidding. All right. So uh -huh. this is just about what happens right here. All right. I just yeah. want to say, I just want to take the time to say thank you, right? So for being such an amazing and great group, right? So your English level, it's amazingly good to do not be advanced yet. So you are super good. Um, you're willing to learn. You're willing to participate. Well, the majority. Um, And uh, you guys <laughs> have been actually working wonderfully during this a couple of days, right? So I encourage you to continue practicing and uh, learning more and of course, uh, developing your English level to the fullest, all right? It's been a pleasure, right? And I will definitely miss you. So thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Thank you, teacher. I will miss you, you too. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank have a good you. one. You too, thank you. Remember, if you have any questions regarding any subject, I mean, anything related to English, you have my number so you can reach me out, all right? Okay, thank okay, you, teacher. Thank you, thank you everybody. Okay. So, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sure. Take care. Bye-bye. Sweet dreams to Bye. people. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take care. Thank you.